Hello, I'm Bodo and you can find me playing New World at ggbodotv on YouTube and Twitch. This video is a complete overview of the hatchet and what you should build to be competitive. The hatchet is a strength and deck scaling weapon in New World that has always been a huge part of the meta because of its high damage and utility it brings to fights. The best counter to the hatchet is baiting out their berserk ability and proccing to fight death passive and wait out their timers before committing to fighting. Doing this requires mobility and heals so you can sustain until you have a window of opportunity to get a kill. Skilled hatchet players will always swap to a different weapon before wasting berserk or proccing to fight death and they will utilize heavy armor to maximize their all in trade potential. After showing all 6 abilities for the hatchet, I'll show you the best abilities and passives I recommend taking. You can follow along or learn more about the hatchet using the build calculator at newworldfans.com. I'll be making more guides for New World on my YouTube and you can watch me playing live on Twitch. Remember the official release of the game is August 31st. So let's move on to the abilities and the passes of the hatchet. Now the hatchet is a very strong weapon, uh, but it's also very popular, just kind of like the great axe. Uh, but the berserker uh, and also defy death are two staple abilities that every hatchet user runs with. And there are also two abilities where you can play around uh, to make sure that you can win versus a hatchet user. Uh, so with the hatchet, it's very important to cherish your berserker and to not get defy death proct now with this build um this is a little bit different build than what you're going to see this is in fact my opinion uh the most successful hatchet build that i've been able to run with but also the most competitive and the reason why is because with the hatchet most people know they don't want to the they know you're the all in king so they don't want to be up in your face at all just like the great axe people are just going to try and kite you and look for windows of opportunity now it's more apparent with the hatchet than the great axe and that stays that all they have to do is just wait out your berserker cooldown and try to proctify death like I stated before um, but also things like feral rush and raging torrent uh, are very staple moves with the hatchet for trying to catch people and do as much damage as possible here's the thing though they have long animations and people are now seeing that when people with hatchet users and they'll dodge out of them and use those uh, animation windows uh, as opportunity to damage you They'll attack from the side, uh, they'll do range attacks uh, if you're using this ability, uh, and also Feral Rush. So, uh, what we need to do is that we need to be more mobile, and we need to be more versatile. So, in the throwing tree, uh, we have running throw, and we have social distancing. So, with Berserk, running throw, and social distancing, we have a very versatile kit uh, in the terms of we pop a berserk we could use that as a fleeing engagement repositioning uh and sometimes just like a you know you could use it as like a sustain tool because you get healing off of it uh you can use it as a movement speed just like repositioning like i was telling you or to like dodge attacks um you can use it as a cc breaker uh for stun slows and roots uh and you can use it to basically not be staggered with any of your light attacks heavy attacks or abilities so berserk is very good very versatile in itself and you can use it in a lot of situations uh the one thing i will say is that there's a few things you can use berserk cc breaker to negate some cc and to go for the all in especially if they're melee matchup or cc breaker and dodge to avoid a mass massive amounts of burst damage that's also what berserker is really good for and i would only really, really use berserker in those two situations the other situation i'd use berserker uh is pretty much like if you know uh the enemy has used up their dodge roll if you know they're on cooldown for their cc abilities pop berserk chase them and use that 15 second window to do as much damage as possible um but you want to make sure they're you know out of dodge rolls they're out of their ccs and berserk you'll get max value out of it uh, now, to help out with the whole Berserk light attack uh, thing that we're going for, and you just want to spam light attacks, we're taking Enraged uh, Strikes. If the target falls below 30% health, light attacks and heavy attacks deal 20% more damage. We just want it for light attacks. Uh, accumulating power after three successful light attacks against the same target. Gain and power, granting 30% damage uh, increase for three seconds or until the next attack. 
essentially after uh, three light attacks, the next three light attacks or the next six light attacks uh, within that three second window, um, you're going to get 30% extra damage on it. Now, uh, what I will say is that um, you do generally have this up the entire time you're doing trades, but versus good players, they're going to dodge a lot. So for you to be able to have this accumulated power constantly going uh you kind of benefit more off all ins that's all i really have to say about it it's still a lot of damage but you're going to benefit more off all ins and because there's the relentless furry which is like the same version but with heavy attacks um you just don't like it, it the trade-off the extra 30 percent damage from a heavy attack and trying to stack it to it just doesn't work it just doesn't work just go with accumulated power because you're going to have a much higher uptime with it now, against all odds, anybody within that's even five meters close to you, anybody uh, that's an enemy gives you 10% uh, extra damage. So it could be like players and, uh, you know, NPC mobs. Uh, it could be uh, in a siege fight. It could be like a massive huddle of enemies around you. Every single one you go up by 10% damage is huge. Uh, Frenzy Purge is kind of just like a, a stepping stone. To get to defy death because this helps out in 1v1s but anything that are like siege fights or um let's say 5v5s most likely there's going to be multiple uh dots that are going to be on you and below that 30 percent health most likely they're just going to reapply the dots or somebody else on their team will so it's pretty good in 1v1s not really anything special once you get into um higher amount of enemies uh, running throw, it's range option. You're going to deal damage. Uh, you're going to give uh, reduced target damage absorption by 10% for 10 seconds. Uh, it's very good. It has a 15 second cooldown. So you have a five second window uh, when you won't be able to apply this debuff. Social, distance, do, social distancing is a, our utility. Um, it's an escape mechanic because it slows the target when it hits. We also dodge backwards and we do 130% weapon damage. Once again, 15 second cooldown, so you can really pair these two abilities if you want to. Uh, now, quick power is the one passive we're going because it gives you 30% movement speed for three seconds if the target's already affected by a debuff. And because uh, running throw lasts for 10 seconds, 10 second debuff, um, you're gonna be able to get that movement speed um, and just gap close. Now, the last upgrade to this web is uh, stay back and slow the movement speed uh, is increased by 25% for four seconds. So you're just going to be able to uh, gap close or run away uh, more effectively. Uh, now in saying that with the debuff from running you throw, we're also all our light attacks you're going to get 10 stamina from, which is very good for dodging and to dodge attacks, to run away, to gain distance, whatever. Um, and also to block. Uh, exploitation, uh, all attacks deal 15% additional damage to the target with an active debuff. So as long as you have running throw on them, not only are you reducing the target's damage absorption by 10%, but you're also giving yourself a 15% additional uh, damage buff uh, with all of your attacks, all of your attacks, not just throwing attacks. Also light attacks, heavy attacks, abilities, you name it. And in this tree, we're also taking critical throw, uh, increase all critical chances of all attacks by 5%. So very useful. Uh, regeneration crits, uh, successful critical hits with light attacks or aim throws, which we're not using, generate 10 stamina. So once again, more ability to dodge around, more ability to gap close, uh, more um, stamina to um, block or to run away. And that's pretty much the build in entirely is the versatility and the amount of options you can have with the hatchet is what you really want to exploit now understanding those windows of uh, when you want to go for those all-ins because a lot of people do, will not challenge you with those all-ins especially if they're good players uh, as saying that I will say like 90% of the people that you fight will not respect your all-in potential and they'll still go in all Goomba mode on you uh, in that case you just pop on berserk and you just spam your light attacks uh, and the actual like combo if someone's going to go on on you is that as you run to you you want to run throw into a social distance to pop your berserk and just hit them in the face with your light attacks until they're dead 
Uh, that's kind of like the wombo combo. But that's it for the hatchet for right now in terms of the abilities. Thank you for watching my hatchet guide. If you want me to make a specific guide in the future or you want me to see it as my next video, comment below and I'll definitely do that. That's why I made the hatchet guide my second guide. Also, it's one of my favorite weapons. Um, for more things on New World, you can check out and subscribe to my YouTube or you can follow and watch me on Twitch. Uh, come August 31st when the game releases, I'll be playing hardcore, trust me, with uh, my friends and then my community that I play with. But also, uh, prior to that, I'll be playing other games, streaming, so you can check me out there as well. Uh, I'll have my links down below and I hope you have a great day. Click on this video, or that video. Click on this one, maybe that one, I don't know. More videos, more videos.